Hi there, boys and girls. My name is Ken, and I'm here to welcome you to Casey's Train. Let's build ourselves a little bridge. Here's what we've got at this point. We have our bench work all done with uh, joists and risers with our track road bed attached to the risers. So we want to put a bridge in here. Let's see how to do that. Here's the bridge that we're going to put in. This is one where the uh, structure is underneath. The track's going to go on top. So we want it here. Okay, that's good. Now we draw where the bridge is going to be. Then we're going to have to uh, cut that and that, but before we do, we should probably put another riser in. Uh -oh. So we're going to put a riser in there and there, which obviously means we're going to have to put another joist in there somehow. To keep everything steady and stable. So we will cut our road bed according to the length of the bridge precisely as we can. Put these risers underneath to support the road bed there. <clears throat> now we're going to put a road or a creek or something down here too. So let me take this joist out here and double duty it. We're going to have to put it underneath. And what we will do is uh, attach it to these two risers. We've cut our road bed. Zip, zip. With these risers underneath the end of the road bed. Now we have some cork on there. What's what's that got to do with and what's that all about? First of all, let's see if we cut it right. Will this thing be fitting in here? Too big, too small? Well, we have some flexibility. So sure enough, it pretty much fits. Why did I put cork on? Because although at this point in your layout you just have the road bed, you will be putting some kind of a cork or foam or whatever on it to uh, simulate the uh, gravel road bed. So to get the bridge at the right height, you have to put whatever you're going to use as a, as a road bed on top of the sub road bed. You have to put that in there so that you can get the top of your bridge in line with the top of this uh, road bed here. Now, ordinary track looks like that after it's been through the wars a little bit anyway. But bridge track has the ties much closer together. If you want to be accurate and prototypical, then you want to get yourself some of this stuff. Micro engineering sells this. So that will go on top of here. And uh, if you've done it right, then uh, your track is going to just smoothly go from this cork roadbed onto the bridge and off the other side. Uh, this uh, close together tie section just goes maybe a little 
past the bridge. I'm not sure about that. So let's put some abutments in. Quarter inch foam board. This is black. Usually I use white. It doesn't really matter. So that's going to go underneath here. Like that. Let's put that in. Looking at my picture that I have here of uh, the real thing, I see that uh, the side of the abutment is flush with this. And with the jog in there, the bridge shoe, and the girder. So I've cut this to fit here. And what I'm using is a hot glue gun. You have some cracks here. What I use is uh, chip rock cement and just put it in there and then smooth it off with a uh, trowel or your finger, whatever. I'll show you uh, several different abutments that I have on my bridges. On this wooden girder bridge, the constituent parts are the road bed which I have carefully measured from there to there according to the length of the bridge. Do that very very carefully. Then I have a riser here. It's just a 1 by 3 I think. And that is supporting the road bed. I'll show you the structure underneath in a minute. And then to support the actual bridge, in this case I've got a piece of plywood here. I have used plywood and I have used quarter inch foam board. Your bridge sits directly on top of that. And then the side of the abutment, this piece of foam board here, and here and here. This is the foam board. I've got two pieces of foam board here for some reason and this is the basic support supporting my my road bed. Let's take a look underneath. This is the track road bed supported on this one by four here and these are the sides of the abutment. This is the base of my whole bridge structure, which uh, I construct actually before I uh, set the thing in. On my steel girder bridge, I've used some uh, abutments that uh, you can buy commercially underneath the bridge and then the wings off to the side. Same sort of deal on that bridge as you can see in the distance there, if you can see it in all the clutter. I made uh, those abutments, faces and wings out of a quarter inch foam board. <laughs> 